I would like to welcome to the podium another champion for higher education in New Jersey, for the city of Camden and for the region, and for this medical school. Someone whose support has really been vital to us. From the 5th Legislative District, Senator Donald Norcross. Good morning, and what a great morning it is. On this site, literally where you're sitting, two years ago was a methadone clinic. Abandoned houses, abandoned buildings. Today, before you, as you walked in, where people says it couldn't be done, sits a shining example of what New Jersey what the South Jersey region, what Camden City can do when they set their mind to it. <laughs> Governor Christie, Senate President Sweeney, Mayor Red, Dr. Hushman, my colleagues, Assemblyman Fuentes, and Assemblyman Wilson, who lives a block away from here certainly understands the impact of what's going on here. When the students who applied for this school were selected, nearly half of them, one half of them, chose Camden City to live in. That shows the commitment to the city, to the region, of what's going to take place in this great facility. They said it couldn't be built the architects, the naysayers, but the fact of the matter is construction began and with the help of the Camden County Improvement Authority, Jingoli, the construction folks, men and women toiled over the last 17 months to put this up. They gave up their holidays, their weekends, and built an absolutely beautiful example of what we do best. But they did one other thing. They reached out into community for those who desperately need a ladder to a next generation of construction workers where the building trades, the electricians, the carpenters, the sheet metal workers, the roofers brought some young individuals in and gave them a chance. And now they're well on their way in an apprenticeship program to having a new life in a new city. And I want to congratulate the building trades for doing that. So as you take a walk around this beautiful building today, you can see that the community is changing. And in addition to that, it's changing lives. Whether it's those young construction workers who will go on to have their own families. And they'll talk about the time where it changed for them. For the community, we're gonna see how it changes the way that medical education is delivered, unlike anywhere else in our country, and that's something Camden should be very, very proud of. When we look down the road, and George certainly made some wonderful predictions that I believe will come true, because it was literally 40 years ago that I sat there with my father when he spoke of having a medical school in Camden, and today we certainly have that. Changing communities and changing lives, this is what this great facility will do. And we talk about doing that. There's an individual who I had the privilege and the pleasure of growing up with immediately adjacent to Camden City in the town of Pensalkin. Because all our roots came back here to Camden. Senate President Sweeney has been a steadfast supporter of not only the state of New Jersey, but in particular, in bringing back our great city of Camden. And I want to bring him up today and say thank you very much for his great advocacy. Please welcome Senate President Steve Sweeney. This is just an amazing day. And uh, Governor Christie, I want to thank you personally for working with us um, we're Democrats, Republicans, but you know something? It's about the people. It's about this community. And to George, 
I can only imagine how proud your dad is today because I know what his vision and his dream was and that he never stopped caring about Camden. You know how easy it is to walk away and ignore? His father never did that. His father was a champion for this city. And, and again, for him to, for your mother to witness this today is a wonderful tribute to him. This is a great day for the city of Camden. And you realize, we, we just did a whole lot of amazing things in the state of New Jersey. Things that people said they couldn't be done. I was with so the Senate president in Maryland, and he, and he said to me, he says, how'd you guys do higher ed reorganization? Because all around the country, they're trying to do it. Because we were committed to making the state great. Not just the northern, the central, the southern, the entire state. We created three centers of excellence. People said, well, no one's ever going to, you know, 20 years from now, no one will remember who did it. Doesn't matter who did it, it's that it was done is that we recreated an economy in this region and in this state. We've redefined what the state of New Jersey is going to be like 20 years from now. And it took courage and leadership. And listen, the governor, myself, and members of my, of my party and his party, you know, it ain't easy change. You know that. It isn't easy. 40 years to do this. But when you have all the stars line up with a commitment to looking out for the people and trying to make a better life for the community here and throughout the state, you can get some great things done. I'm extremely proud of what we've accomplished this last year, but I'm especially proud of what happened here in Camden, because the people of Camden, just like anywhere else, need an opportunity, need a chance. Great schools, employment opportunities, and an economy to support that. We couldn't have done any better. And I'm very proud that I was part of it with Donald and, and again, the governor and George and everyone else and all my colleagues that are in this room. This is a great day for the state. And, you know, we need more doctors. There's a crisis in doctors. I want to throw that in right now. There's going to be a shortage. This is going to help a long way to fix that problem. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you.